So today we are constructing the reflection of a polygon across a line. And we're constructing it using a compass. But before we do the actual construction, let's talk about some strategies here on what we're doing. All right, so over here, I'm gonna just sketch out a little diagram here. So here's my line, here's my polygon. All right, now remember what a reflection is. For a reflection, what you do is each vertex of this triangle here, what we're gonna do is reflect it across the other side of this line, okay? It's gonna be the same distance from the line, but on the opposite side. For example, this point right here, it's gonna reflect directly across on the other side right there. Same with this one, directly across on the other side there, and same with this point. The same distance, but on the other side. And once we connect them up, we will have our reflected image. And notice it's the mirror image of the original shape. Now, the key to this is when I say it's the same distance on the other side, for example, from here to here, when I say it's the same distance, I'm saying that this distance here is the same as this distance here, but that distance is measured perpendicularly to the line of reflection, okay? So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to construct a perpendicular through this point to the other side and then use our compass to take this same distance and measure it out on the other side, okay? So let's do that. All right, so from point A, I'm going to take my compass setting and make sure it's big enough to hit that line of reflection. And off of point A, I'm gonna swing an arc and hit the line of reflection two places. All right, now I can use any compass setting from where the arc hits the line in two, setting, uh, two places. I'm gonna swing this down a little so it's not so huge. And then off one intersecting point, I'll swing an arc. Off the other intersection point, I'll swing an arc. And now I know where my perpendicular is. It's gonna go from A to this point right here. So, there it is. All right, so I know point A is gonna be on the other side of this line somewhere along this perpendicular. Now, where exactly is it gonna be? Well, what I'm gonna do is, I'll take the distance from that line of reflection to point A, measure it out with my compass, and I'll take that same setting on the other side, swing an arc, and now I know where point A prime is gonna be. It's going to be right here. And notice I label it A prime because that's the reflected point. All right? Now, that's how you find a reflected point across a line. Now, what if I told you though, there's a faster way to do this that doesn't involve constructing the perpendicular, all right? And I'm gonna show you that faster way right now. And it's faster because you don't have to change the compass setting so much. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna do point C, okay? I'm gonna adjust my compass so that it crosses the line of reflection, okay? And I want it to hit, just like before, hit it in two places, okay? So here we go. I hit it in two places, okay? Now, I'm gonna keep that exact same compass setting and off of where the arc hits the line of reflection, I'm gonna swing it. And then off of where the arc hit the line of reflection on the other side, I'll swing it. And this point where the two arcs intersect, right here, turns out this is my C prime. Now you're probably thinking, it's not that much different than what we did before, so why don't I have to construct the perpendicular line? It's because what we're doing in this construction is, see how I set up my compass originally? Point C is equidistant from these two points right there. So what we're doing is by, by keeping this compass setting the same when we move over here, we're finding a point on the other side of the line that's all, also equidistant from these two points right here, you see? So notice how C is the same distance from here to here as it is from here to here. And that's what we want. Same with right here. 
from here to here is the same distance from here to here. All right, so it's a little bit quicker by using this method to do your reflection. All right, let's finish off B here, and I'll use that same quick method. So set my compass setting at least big enough to hit my line of reflection two spots. Here we go. There we go. Keeping this same compass setting, I'm going to go where my arc hits my line of reflection. There's one arc where the arc hits the other line side of the line of reflection. Swing another arc, and guess what? I just found my B prime where those two arcs intersect, B prime. All right, so now I've got all three vertices of my triangle, connect them up. And there is my reflected triangle. All right, so again, you can construct the perpendicular and then take this distance to be the same as this distance to find your reflection, or use this faster method. It saves you a step or so, okay? Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.